Jam. Hello everyone and welcome back t- uh, to Jumpooty Jams, the only uh, gotcha podcast dedicated to Jumpooty Heroes, Jumpoochie Heroes. It's, 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 shit, I cannot believe I fucking forgot that. <laughs> <Are you laughs> sure? I, swear, I get progressively worse at this intro. Same <laughs> word, spelled, said differently. <laughs> And I'm here with Zenrod, as always. Hello. <laughs> we're here to jam it up, and we're here to talk about the new f- uh, one. That, what is the celebration called? The 1,500-day f- celebration? Uh, 1,500? It's 1,500-something. 1,500-day um, celebration. Is it, is it 1,500 days? Yeah, because on 5-5, we'll mark the 1,500 yeah, it days. Is. Damn, has it really been going that many days? Apparently. Shit. Right. I mean, it's like a big end of coming up in a few months, isn't it? Yeah, it's true. The four year. So fair enough. So we're going to be talking about that because that's the current thing going on here. Before that, we will at least mention because it's currently going on. I think you're too late if you decide to start now. But Golden Week campaign did start and it is based off of you. do. It's based off of Gold Mask from Kinnicky Man. So you just get a free limited. If you were, if you started, if you've on, done it every day, which I hope you remember to do, because otherwise this times. is shit out of luck for you. Yeah, yeah. I, I get mine tomorrow. I think I get my free limited tomorrow. So pretty good for me. As I haven't a big... been keeping track, but I don't think I've missed a day. So no, if you haven't missed a day, then you should get it pretty soon. Uh, thankfully, the multis themselves tell you. You just look at the number. Mine currently says, uh, I think I'm two away somehow. I don't know how I'm two away, but I'm two away. Two away. It's it's in multiples of three, though. Yeah, I know. I was like, did I just forget a day to do it three times and it just didn't go back or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, you can get him for free, which is pretty nice because I like Kaneku Man, and this is the only other Kaneku Man limited. So I will gladly take him for free. <laughs> it's nice to have a specific one. I want that. Apparently, the, this guy's still good in some things. I don't know in what. Because I'm not the greatest at uh, what is good in Jampudi in the overarching part of the game. Because there's so many things a unit could be good at. But apparently he's still good. So, not bad. Let's see. On the PvE tier list, he is upper mid of S tier. It's pretty it's good. not bad. It's not bad at all. Gold man. He's top 10, apparently, of his color. Nice. That's that's very nice, then. <laughs> the, the yeah. That works great for me. <laughs> I would never have guessed it, but again, Kinnick Man is extremely popular, so you may as well make... If you're going to make a series with not a lot of limited, you better make that one limited fucking busted. Yeah, you mine. better make it count. Exactly. That's why the We Never Learn one is so insanely good. <laughs> and same thing goes for Yuna, because they're never getting another one. <laughs> and that's why One Piece has so many terrible ones, because they're going to keep getting ones. <laughs> they're going to keep getting limited, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it just doesn't make a difference. Nope, not not whatsoever. Though it is funny that the best Luffy limited now is the Nightmare one. Because Ace and Luffy got fucking replaced by Tanjiro and Giyu. Yep, they sure did. Hardcore because Tanjiro replaced. and Giyu are ridiculously good. Andy Toy, I don't want to play with you anymore for Ace and Luffy after those yeah. two came out. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid how good those two are. Yeah, it, it is. So there you go. Goldman. Love it. Love to see it. Let's talk about the actual thing going on, which are the new units, which is uh, what this video is going to be basically about. The most important new unit added is, of course, uh, Visa. This is the main guy we're going to talk about for 45 minutes. Visa's everyone's favorite character (laughs) from World Trigger. (laughs) Nah, just kidding. Just Joseph and Caesar. (laughs) Or is it Cesar? How do you pronounce? It's Caesar. It's Caesar? He's Italian, remember? Oh, that's right, that's right. I, I'm getting him confused with King Cesar from the Godzilla films, the giant <laughs> kaiju. No, no, his name is Caesar, Caesar Zeppeli. <laughs> Spelled the same, said differently, King Cesar and Caesar from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they got added into the game, which was both me and Zen going, oh my god. Yeah, it's about fucking time. And they slap, which is great because JoJo has needed a really, really top tier character for a while. They've needed the only other one they have is uh is the limited Josuke. And uh, well, well, it it doesn't stop people from using him, but that part for Jotaro is used a whole bunch. 
He's in PvP a lot, yeah. He kind of sucks yeah. in single player. Ah, he, he is not that good in PvP either, but he's useful-ish there. Yeah, it's a really weird Basically, case it. they, they Andes toyed him, just like they did Ace and Luffy <laughs> with, uh, with Hiei and Killua, because Hiei and Killua are just the same thing, but like yeah, better in every way. Yeah, way better in every single given point. Yeah, yeah, you're right, actually, now that I think about it, that they really did just kind of eat his lunch with that one. So yes, you're right, they did need this one, and thank God for this one. The theme of this um, specific thing, well, first of all, when they started hyping it up and they showed the four, so the four series that are going to be in it were uh, Gintama, Jojo, uh, World Trigger, and uh, Demon Slayer, and also the cooking one. What is the cooking one called? Sh- uh, uh, Shukgeki no Soma. Yeah, so those were the ones that were basically hinted at because there were a bunch of uh, events that were coming up. And whenever they do that, it means that, yo, these are chances are the series that are going to be in the next one. And when I saw that Demon Slayer was on that list, I was so scared. Yeah, I'm not even shocked anymore. I'm just like, oh, it's a new celebration. I wonder what Demon Slayer character we're going to get. Yeah, it's true. But the funny thing is, is that when I saw it, I was like, I remembered back to our conversation saying, like, if it's not that, chances are it's going to be Demon Slayer. We both said that either the Golden Week thing or the 10 10 10 thing was somehow going to be Demon Slayer related because Demon Slayer was not on the list for upcoming events. So if there was ever going to be a chance for them to show up, it would be at that exact point. And then literally, like, Demon Slayer was the next thing coming up. And I was like, oh, God, please don't tell me we jinx this. But thankfully not. So just to go over the other characters who are not Joseph and Caesar real quick, it is uh, Wamu, Lisa Lisa, Shoyu Yoshida, uh, Sakun Konji Ura, Ura, Ura Kodaki. Is that how you say his, his name? I've never actually... Uh... Uro Kodaki, yeah, that's right. Uh, it's U- Uro Kodaki, I think, yeah. Uro Kodaki, okay. Kujiro, Shinomiya, Hyusei, Visa, and the other limited is uh, Tatsugaki. Uh, I have no I was like, wait. I was going to say Gintoki and someone else, but I feel like that's not. <laughs> All right, let's go with the what they have here, which is Shins- uh, Shinsuke. And that Ta- is Gintoki. Takas- <laughs> is it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So Did I just get uh, spoiled his, his, old, future? his old. <laughs> His old samurai name is is Shirahoshi oh. from from oh, in the war. Shirahoshi. Okay, gotcha. Or Shira, Shirayasha. Shirayasha. Shirayasha is his old name. Okay, it means like white white flash or some shit like that. <laughs> white devil. <laughs> I think it might actually be that white really? demon. Yeah, oh, white demon. Yeah, okay. white demon. I was making a reference to Ace Ventura too when Nature Calls, but it's funny if that actually ends up being <laughs> what it translates to. <laughs> and that's the other limited. And a, a lot of people were apparently also really waiting for this uh, Gintama one as well, because I saw at least from people who were super into Gintama, they're like, "Oh yes, this is the one I would want from here." So in general, some good yeah, there stuff. was a there was a lot of freak out about that from the Gintama people in the in the Discord chats we're in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so a good collection of dudes it looks like from what we got here. I it's got basically enough for everyone, and the one Demon Slayer character actually makes sense with the event because the event's theme is master and student. And I originally thought that the limited was going to be actually related to part one, and we were finally going to get a Jonathan and Zapelli. Uh, if I had it my way, it would be a Zapelli who dies, and then you get into the super <laughs> buff Jonathan. <laughs> But that would be funny. That would be really. I good. would fucking do that shit for and sure. You click the transform button and it plays like a his little body. His body goes in half and he turns into an old man. And he transfers over his powers to Jonathan. I only want really messed up wind conditions. I actually only want wind conditions that are just super messed up and sad. But it ended up being something just that super fucks <laughs> completely. One hundred percent. Like, just the idea of him. Imagine, like, old Chibi Zapelli holding on to Chibi Jonathan while, like, someone else in the background is just, like, fucking cheering their eyes out. It would be great. It would be, great. be 100% fantastic. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into what these characters do. We'll start with... Uh, we'll start with the JoJo characters because that's the one we got. So, first of all, they're adding <laughs> Wamu. I think he's is he he's is he the last of the pillars? He's already in. He's already in. Yeah. Is he? Uh no, S D D C is not in yet. Okay, so that's the only one basically in and then we'll have all the pillar men. Yep. Alright. I like Wamu. From what I remember of Wamu, I like Wamu. I like his name. I Wamu's like cool. Yeah. Yeah. He's a reference to Wham, which is always good. 
back back when JoJo names weren't given to Stan, so they had to really try hard, <laughs> kind of, to make characters' names. Yeah, make there sense were no stands. To... That's why ACDC is so fucking funny to me because it's just ACDC. It is, and I think any time it was translated by people who are not trying to get sued, they always just straight up put ACDC. But whenever yep. they put it in like uh, official translations, it's like ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> it's very much like okay yeah it's uh what is it it's e s i d i s i or something yes fantastic S-C-D-C. spelling of it. and wamu has that similar spelling where his name is spelled w a m u u wamu so great great naming on that one he's also free he doesn't really fit the theme actually does he is he actually a teacher i don't remember if he was in battle tendency i don't fully remember the backstory of every single pillar man it was wamu a teacher yeah or scdc no wamu was yeah. like their uh he was like the they took him in like as a baby the other pillar men did and so he's like ah my masters oh, i owe you the, blah, blah 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 but no, and then he's like the he's like the fighter like the honorable warrior Yes, I remember that part. If he w- if he was their student, then yes, that makes a lot of sense for him to be included then. So they actually figured out a perfect way to fit him into the theme. We were complaining last uh, celebration that it felt like there was a lot of characters that just didn't really fit the theme and were just added because uh, they were a part of the series of characters that actually did fit. So it's actually kind of nice. I mean, you to... could you could argue also that he quote unquote taught Joseph by being like his motivation. That's true. There's a lot of ways you could fill it in there. I completely forgot that he was raised as the baby, because now that makes it really funny to imagine these two giant buff men raising a baby. <laughs> yep. Just and these then, rifts, like, Aztec rip, gods raising a baby it. together. Raising a baby together, <laughs> say like, hmm, we should teach him how to fight. That's the first thing we're gonna do. <laughs> I would read that spinoff manga. Stop giving it to Rohan. <laughs> Stop giving it to the guy who makes manga. Give it to the fucking buff Aztec men who raised the baby. Let's go. <laughs> I would read that in a heartbeat. Though, uh, based off his new uh, drawing style, they chances are would be less buff and would just be super skinny, kind of defeating a lot of the point, unfortunately. <sighs> but yeah, Wamu, he's free. Feel free to grind him up. Uh, this event has a really weird way of grinding dudes now, where for some reason you unlock, you you do a stage and you get 1,500 keys and then you just use them freely to open it, but all the fights are super easy, so you will be done in maybe... If you just use stamina potions and get all your stamina, you're done in one. You're done in one 30-minute session, and then you have 1,499 keys that are completely useless to you. Which is yeah, I don't really get that. I don't uh, get it either. They give you a shitload. It's like 1,500, mm-hmm. and then I did it in one key. Yep. So now I have all these fucking keys, and For I don't know no what reason. to do with any of them. Yeah, I, I have no clue what the fuck I'm supposed to do with all these fucking keys. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't understand it. It's and also it's not be- even like um, you you can spend them and then like do it later or something. Like like it. Uh, what am I trying to say? It's not even like they don't cost stamina or anything, so you can just spam the keys. They still cost stamina to run the stage. So this like doesn't, doesn't make any sense. The only thing that's kind of cool is that you can select any of the four free units to basically do whenever you want. So if you cared more about Wamu than the other ones, you could do Wamu first and then do the others. I totally did Wamu first. Yeah, there you go. That's the re- totally that's did the, Wamu first. That's the I think <laughs> the actual one good thing about the system. But the problem is the key thing is just really weird. I don't know why they did it. That yeah, way. I mean it's not a big deal. I ju- it makes no. me feel very uncomfortable with like why do I have so much shit in here? <laughs> You'll always look back in <laughs> it and go like why the fuck do I have this? And you go like oh, yeah, man. like every time I look at my inventory, I'm like oh I have fucking 1499 of these fucking keys yep forever and ever it's weird but fine uh yeah so you'll have plenty of those keys and you'll have plenty of wamus to go with it i'm very lazy so i think i but even with my lazy way of grinding and doing stuff i think i'm able i was able to do it in under 10 keys so it's not the hardest thing in the world it's just very weird on their part for making it do sometimes i feel like they just try new things and then they never go back to it. Like, I feel like th- this is a format for this specific celebration, and then we'll never do it again, and then they'll never talk about it again either. 
that's what it feels like to me anyway. Next, we have Lisa Lisa, who is the uh, master of, of course, Joseph and Caesar, and spoilers, the mother of uh, Joseph. What does she actually do, Zen? Uh, uh, she... It's hard to read it on here when it's written this way. Uh, she... Her ultimate attack is 520% of her recovery to a single target, Recover 2,500 HP or 12,500 HP in PvP. For one turn, buff DPS balanced and healer units ultimate attack damage by 10% or 22% in PvP. Her buddy skill is convert one green, yellow, green and yellow into blue. Convert three... Uh, special... Or no, three of the... What are they called? What are the ones with the X's in them called? Uh, the negative petites or whatever the construct. I forget what they're called. Block petites. Yeah, the blocks into blue. Uh, boost three special bubbles base damage by twenty two percent. God, this is really hard to read. Boost legend summon gauge by eight percent. For one turn, buff blue units normal attack and special attack damage by 40%. Jesus, fuck. Hmm. Uh, and for one turn, buff your main buddy's special attack damage by 22%. God damn. Yeah. Just the, the only thing she's missing is the create a special petite. Yeah. Holy shit. She's good. I like her. <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't, I didn't get her. Now I kind of want to get her. Yeah. I also was not able to get her because in my summons I was I got Hughes and I was able to pity Joseph and Caesar. Um, yeah, I had to pity Joseph and Caesar. Also, I only got the uh, the cooking cooking man, cooking oh, boy, the cooking boy Kajiro Shinomiya, the one where you have absolutely no idea anything about because neither. Yeah, one of I don't us. know jack shit about cooking son, but I I got no. cooking son. Um, no cooking but son. oh well, so be it as it goes sometimes uh lisa lisa she sounds really good i as as i've mentioned multiple times on this show at multiple times i would have loved to have her because she is a uh at this point i'm collecting every single female unit or trying my damnedest to so when she got released and i also really like lisa lisa from jojo i think she's the the what's the right way of saying what i want to say she's it's funny because she's a strong lady but it was also the 80s, so she couldn't be that strong. <laughs> so she still gets saved and stuff like that, but she's still extremely strong in theory. Uh, cool. And she also just kind of disappears at the end. When you, when you, when it's revealed that she's the mother, at no point does she go, and now I'm going to be a mother to my son. She goes, actually, goodbye. <laughs> it was very nice meeting with you. I'm going to go get married to someone else, and she disappears for the rest of the series. <laughs> Yeah, she just fucks off. It's great. <laughs> it's great. She's like, you don't really need a mother, right? He's like, I'm getting married. All right, you don't need me. Later. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Never to be seen again. So appreciate that. So I did badly want this unit, and hopefully I get her somewhere down the road. Yeah, I'm probably going to try to get the Gintoki one as well, because it's really, really good. So hopefully I get her yeah. during that. Yeah, if not, I might just sob, suffer. Because <laughs> it's like... It's like how how yeah I'm gonna fucking cope. <laughs> cope it's, hard. It's a lot to yeah I'm gonna fucking cope hard. It's a lot to pity them too, which sucks. Yeah, it does. The it's like seven, is, which is yeah. uh, it's too much. Uh, too yeah, too much. It is nice to have a chance at them though, but yeah, yeah. To but it's just matters. like if if you have to pity the unit already, it's like bro, fuck. <laughs> I had to do it seven more times. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's for sure not the greatest they definitely need to still keep tweaking out that to make it just right yeah that that's lisa lisa hopefully both of us will at some point I, at least one of us should get her that'd be nice <laughs> we both get, yeah. like her enough that we both want her. Get her we'll just uh cope with one. the <laughs> other one gets it and we're like that's good enough yeah that's good enough that's how you should always treat it whenever you're a friend. Whenever, and so much romance uh, manga would be solved if the two dudes who were going for the one girl, just the other guy went, man, I hope just one of us gets her. You know what I mean? It would solve a lot of conflicts between the two of them. <laughs> the Everyone friend. would just be better off. 
Yeah, you know what? That's actually going to be my upcoming manga is about two dudes who are trying to go for the same girl, but both of them want to help their friend get the other girl besides them. So it's a never-ending <laughs> series of one dude trying to make his other friend look better, and then the other one does the exact opposite. And we have that for at least 500 chapters. I think it could go a really long length. Look forward to that soon. And also the final JoJo character is uh, Joseph and Caesar. What do they do, Zen? Joseph, hang on, I'm gonna okay. switch back to yeah I'm here I'm gonna switch back to the Twitter rundown for them because it's so much easier to read. Yes. If you're wondering why we're doing uh, right. the switching is because we don't have the info on. Yeah, OCC. there's not like a there's not an infographic for the non limiteds. Yeah, exactly. Um, this is what happens when uh, yeah we don't have OCHD to carry us through everything. <laughs> it's much easier when <laughs> I know <laughs> they, yeah. when we can't ride their coattails to Ex- exactly. <laughs> For success, yeah. it's way easier when they do a lot of the work for us. <laughs> uh, Go support all them. right. Go so... ahead. <laughs> what do they do? <laughs> Their ultimate is 520% that ignores guard to one enemy. And if it is a DPS class enemy, do an additional 50%. Inflict 5,000 fixed damage to one enemy or 10,000 in the tower. And for three turns, apply weakening to all enemies by 22%. Buddy skill is convert a block, red, green, yellow, and heart bubble to blue. Remove one ultimate attack up from all enemies, the strongest one. For four turns, boost the ultimate attack damage of blue team members by 24%. For three turns, boost the recovery of his unit's buddy by 8%. And for three turns, when this unit's buddy is attacked, boost their attack power by 5%. Is that it? Does everything? Uh, oh, and their passive skill, which is reduce the number of buddies sealed by buddy skill seal. God, that's to say that shit 40 times fast. <laughs> uh, by two for this unit. Boost this unit's ultimate attack damage by 15% or 20% in the tower. Before this unit's turn, convert one heart bubble to a red column paint bubble. This unit's skill bubbles become charged up their base damage boosted by 7% and blast radius boosted by 1 for each turn that passes while they're on the board for a maximum of 3. Okay, now that's everything. Uh, I'll get mine real quick, just because you have actual better experience with units like this. I was able to get them, but then I ran into a huge problem, which is I'm out of the the gems that boost up past 6. So I can't get them past 6-6-6 six, six, six right now. Uh, so I've been having a bit of trouble actually getting them to work in stuff like PvP. And PvE, they've been perfectly fine, especially with the um, the red column bubble thingy. It helps with certain uh, combos and stuff like that. But on the PvP side, they just don't do as much damage as I would want, and that's only because I can't actually buff them up to the point where I want them. I also do have kind of a problem where in the the PvP I don't have a very good red unit to follow them up. I think I do actually have a lot of good red units, but I don't have the right, like, pieces to actually make it work, if that makes sense. At least not the way I have it with my old old PvP team. It also does not help that this current PvP has made it so that no yellow blocks show up whatsoever. So it completely shuts me off of two of my better uh, units, which are both light. Like, a lot of my team is based 100% on uh, the yellow orbs, so that's been kind of a weird way of me trying to get there. So I still like them. I still like using them a whole bunch, but I haven't been able to get the max, uh, the maximum efficiency out of them yet. And what do you feel about them, Zen? Uh, super fucking good. Crazy good. Fucking wild good. Wild. Um... Everything about them. Everything about them is amazing. I love them. Absolutely. Their ultimate is so good. It gives uh, weakening weakening to everyone, which is nuts. Um, yeah. the, I mean, the the fixed damage is whatever, like 10k. 10k is fucking nothing in the tower. But like 570 potentially, or at least 520, like that's already pretty fucking high. And then you've got the passive, which is a flat 20% buff to their ultimate attack damage, which is fucking awesome. And if something happens where you're not able to get all of their bubbles right away, you've got the fact that it charges up the next turn. So you get like extra for accidentally fucking it up. Like it's awesome. 
Yeah. <laughs> they're so good. I love them. Yeah. And this... their ultimate is cool because it's like every attack that Joseph and Caesar ever do all mashed up into one attack. Yeah, that is also very nice. I forgot to mention that animation is very good. And I love yeah, to see it's it. so good. Yeah. I Again, the only thing I wish is that I had more <laughs> skill gems up to make them hit that little bit harder. But they seem extremely well made. And I'm glad because I think, um, like you said, the track record on certain JoJo characters is really hit or miss. Like even the Giorno, which is probably used as much now, probably more than the part four uh, Jotaro now. Even he has a problem where he's the weakest of his specific type, and he also kind of got replaced by Killer One Hie, because he's <laughs> yeah, because they're so good on the fourth slot that it seems like some people are replacing the uh, those units that used to be amazing at the fourth slot that you know, basically every single PvP team would use them for have been basically replaced by them. So it is nice to get an actual good JoJo character now, and it's especially a good one. We're never gonna get another Joseph and Caesar, so. We can't, unfortunately, <laughs> due to a lot of circumstances around them. So it makes sense for their ult to be every single attack they ever did together. And yeah. Yep, yeah, which is dope. Yeah. Shit's so good. Very good. Glad to see it. Battle Tendencies. Fantastic. If you don't read or watch JoJo, you should do it. Do uh, both yes. JoJo fucking. Yeah, do it all. Do everything. All yeah, of it at do once. Do it all. Do it all at once. Do it. Do it good. And I'll say every single part, every single thing. That way you can become a JoJo fan and hate on Netflix just like everyone else. Oh my god. Fuck Netflix. Hate them. <laughs> that's why their stock is down. Ever since they got the, the JoJo fans riled up, that's why <laughs> their stock's in the toilet now. <laughs> Don't fuck with JoJo fans. Exactly. Think about Actually, think about it really hard. Because before they fucked up the release of Part 6, they were swimming up pretty clean. And then they fuck up the release fell straight into the hole man just let you know that's where it all it's all connected all right let's go on to the next we'll do world trigger because we're i'm going to do it in a weird order of how it's formatted on ochd <laughs> so you're gonna have to go back to the other site because we need to know what this right. does all right okay ready uh yes what does hughes do i don't know if that's how you actually pronounce his name this, but i'm gonna say I, th- I have always said it Husei, but you say that makes a lot more yeah. sense of how japanese names are said so I'll go with Hughes. But it, it might be Hughes. I don't know. I always, I always say Hughes. Uh, all right. Hughes. His ultimate attack. Deal 450% damage to a single target. For two turns, counterattack all damage done to the party by 60% of his attack power. And for two turns, red units gain 250% damage down. Not damage down, like uh, less damage taken. Uh, not not like they do less damage. <laughs> that would be terrible. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that would suck so bad. Um, support is convert a random bubble to a special bubble burst six red bubbles boost the legend summon gauge by plus six or 50 percent in ub which i guess is the tower um for two t- is it, it, no ub is unity battle isn't it yeah unity battle. yeah yeah ub is unity battle for two turns, reduce bubble requirements for red units by one. For one turn, buff green units special attack damage by 22%. Not sure I get that one, but okay. Sure. Passive, battle? reduce bleed damage. No, well, well, not the unity battle one. The fact that he buffs green units. That is very odd. That and is... he is, in fact, red. Yeah. Um, for one turn, uh, yeah, buff green units special attack by 22%. And then his passive is reduce bleed damage by 3880. Dude, the bleed damage reduction numbers are so weird. It reminds me of those Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like Reaper of the Cards, where his attack power is like 1930. <laughs> you know? Like, yes. Like yeah, the fucking weird saying. ones. <laughs> Just yeah. really weird percentage of and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then he buffs his own attack by 16%. And for the first two, two turns of the battle, he increases the Legend Summon Gauge by 8%. Okay. Uh, he sounds really weird. I don't know how I... Now that I have him, I don't know how to feel about him at the moment. Because it sounds like he kind of wants to be used in Unity Battle. But then he also buffs green units for some reason. And I don't know why he's doing that. Um, 
the ability to make uh, the orbs is really nice. But then at the same time, he gets rid of red orbs. So you actually, he's, no, wait, he's a red unit that wants to be used with a green unit that wants to get rid green of. Green unit, yeah. <laughs> what? I, hey, I have no fucking clue, bro. All right, fair enough. At that point, why not make him green? Because his, his, his master dude, Visa, is green. <laughs> why not make him green? It's yeah, it's like of... they made him to support that guy, but it's like, why would you do that? <laughs> why is he supporting the old man? He's free to play. Yeah, because like, because and also like he's he you you don't get the bonus on like for having the same color guy equipped. No, no, that's really weird. I I, I don't know what they were thinking with what he does, which is a shame because I really like uh, you say. Um... He's one of the four uh, now at this point. Is he actually a main character? Would you consider him a main character at this point? I would, yeah. Okay, he's one of the main characters. He's real interesting. He's real strong. And it seems weird that they've built him this way unless they're trying to do a callback about how his people are all weird and backwards. And they're like, well, now <laughs> they're he's, all fucking weirdos. So his abilities have to be weird. He's like, yeah, this is how they do uh, friendship skills in Canada. <laughs> this is how it works perfectly for them. So there we go. So yeah, I don't, that that's my basic thing on him is that it just feels really weird for some reason, which is a shame because I really like him. What do you think? Yeah, I like him too. Um, <laughs> but he is definitely like weird. Yeah, there's. I, I, I like him just by virtue of who he is. Yeah. And I will still use him, and tr- or try, I guess. <laughs> but it feels weird. Now it feels weird that I'm using <laughs> a red mean, unit. I think he's good as a support for green teams, but it's just like, why would you not just make him green at that point? Yeah, at that point. Feels a little weird. Why is the kitchen boy green then? Makes no sense. <laughs> May as well just let them switch colors at that point, but whatever. That's Hughes, and then he also comes with the free-to-play version of his, I guess, his uh, master, which is Visa. Uh, I remember the old man being fun to watch fight. That's basically all I remember. It's yeah, minimal. he his fight was pretty cool. I, I yeah. remember he fought um, Yuma, right? Yes, he fought he fought Yuma. They were trying to get to the um, who were they trying to extract? They were trying to get um, uh, uh the girl. The girl. Yes, they were trying sniper to sniper girl with like a lot of power. Yeah. Chica, who's also yeah, my yeah. I like Chica a whole bunch. She looks a little bit like that Pokemon. <laughs> you know which one I'm talking she about? She does. The yeah, the, the yeah. one that eventually gains three heads. <laughs> I like. You know who she looks like? She looks like Lombre. She does look a lot like Lombre. I like Chica. A whole she looks bunch. like Lombre. <laughs> she does. I also like Lombre. This is not meant to be Chica slander. So this is Chica. This is a Chica safe zone. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to admit she is designed very goofy. <laughs> she's maybe the funniest designed like fe- uh, like um cuz she's the main character for the woman. She's the main character, she's the main female lead. Yeah, and, she's the female lead of the series. And it's really funny because usually they're designed to look like different. Like for example, uh I who is the girl you meet for the first time and who is a four star in the game, she looks like she's supposed to be the main character of woman. She looks like she's supposed to be the male, the female lead character. She's designed to be that. She isn't. She's a side character at best, and is very rarely yeah, seen. She, I don't think she actually even does anything in like the current shit that's going on. No, I no, she doesn't. Is she even that's in right. the arc right now? I don't even think she's in it. Yeah. I, well, to be fair, there's about like 100 characters in this current arc, so don't ask that's me which ones are specifically. That's, yeah, in I it. don't. I don't like this arc right now for that reason. Is like, yeah, it's a little World Trigger comes out really irregularly, so yes. all of a sudden. It's like, fuck, what am I supposed to... <laughs> I can't remember half of these fucking dudes. Yeah, and it's a, it's a shame because there's some intrigue going on with the current arc as well where you're kind of going like, it's a little bit more mind games, a little bit more like, okay, let's think. It's a little bit more that. But the problem is is that you can't have that and then not release a chapter for 30 days. <laughs> because yeah, by the it's time a I, problem. Yeah, by the time I get to the next one, I'm like, how the fuck does this game work? How there's like one dude who's just playing by himself and everyone's like, damn, this guy's good. I don't know what he's doing. And then they go to him and he's like, ha, I'm just doing this by myself. And then he gets an assignment that says like, okay, everyone on the team has to do it. And he's like, shit, (laughs) what am I going to do? But yeah, this current arc has been really weird that I don't even know if this character is in it or not because there's so many characters in it at the moment. But anyway, going back. Yeah, they were trying to get Chica. Chica's cool. 
Uh, so I think he's cool. He's a cool old man. Um, this specific art yeah. that he comes from is the one we would have wanted to see in the actual limit, limited to come from World Trigger, right? Cause this yeah, is, uh, that's probably the best arc of World Trigger. Yeah, it is. It's really good. It's fantastic. If you if you have not read or watched... Because apparently the anime is also very good for World Trigger. You should check it out. Um, it's definitely worth it. Uh, you should read it, though, because all the shots of Chica are ten times better in manga form. <laughs> when she goes like... Yes. I, when they're like, Chica, can you give us some supporting fire? You got it. Suddenly an Akira-like two-page of an atomic blast going on. Yeah, of like an entire city getting obliterated. And they're like, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, Great. it's, it's real. That's maybe my that was that's actually maybe my favorite part is when Chica's just going off because they're like, "Hey, Chica, can you do something? You got it." Yeah, and she's like all like cutesy and like nonchalant looking. Like, yeah, she looks like fucking the frog girl from My Hero. Yes, which is also one of my favorite characters because they both like, <laughs> they have the both the same like hmm, <laughs> very like yeah. They just have like a. Cutesy unassuming design. dopey look <laughs> yeah. yes which that i absolutely love um and it's great because like i said in the manga whenever it's, it's funny because she, she has a problem with uh actually like killing so when she actually yeah, does she it for like the killing first, people yeah when she does it by accident she's like oh shit uh, oh man and then they both have to basically be like hey it's okay it was an accident we would have got him anyway you don't have to worry about it uh, which is really funny because she, if she actually didn't give a shit about that, I think she would just automatically win every single fight based off of her yeah, dropping a atomic bombs. blows everybody up. <laughs> yeah. It's maybe, yeah, again, it's my favorite aspect of World Trigger is that they gave, like, godlike powers to this tiny, tiny Pokemon-esque girl. <laughs> and she really is, like, absolutely fucking... Uh, banging at every single like weapon in the game like every time they show her using a new weapon i'm like oh how is this going to be completely fucked up and it's like the scattershot thing that is supposed to be like oh yeah you send a little bit she sends like a fucking like a 300 arrow shot and whenever she does it it's insane yeah it's fucking hilarious it is and i want them to get back to that stuff which is why i need them to hurry up and get off this current arc which is taking forever to finish because I need more about of that stuff. But anyway, that's World Trigger. You should read World Trigger. It's really good. Or watch it. Whichever one you prefer at this point. Alright, let's see. Now let's go and may as well. What's the the kick the cooking boy do from Soma? Shukageki no Soma. His name Kojiro Shinomiya. Looks kinda like an asshole based off the things I'm saying. He but does I'm... look like a huge asshole. Yes. Sorry, hang on, I gotta switch fucking sites. No, it's all right. Well, I mentioned him. I may as well say it. <laughs> I always feel bad yeah, no. about mentioning characters by their looks because I always feel like there's going to be that one dude who's like, actually, he has, he's the nicest character in the entire show. But I'm like, well, why did they make him look like such a dick? Why yeah, does he such look... a smug douche. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, got it. Ready when you are. Ready. Special, remove one stack of weakening from self. Recover 9,000 HP or... 40,000 HP in PvP, and for two turns, buff green units normal attack damage by 40%. I'm not going to lie, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but that just sounds bad. I mean, he's like a healer. I guess he's... I, no, that's actually pretty good. For he's a like a PvE healer. I don't, yeah, PvE okay, healer. Okay. I don't hate that. Yeah. I, I, I was thinking, like, PvP, that sucks, but, like, that's a stupid thing to think, because it's an entire game outside of that. Yes. PvE <laughs> healer, I think is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Support is convert a random bubble into a special. Burst six green bubbles. Okay, it's the same as Hugh says. Boost le Legend Summon Gauge by 6% or 50% in Ultimate Battle. For two turns, reduce bubble requirements for green by one. And for one turn, buff yellow unit special attack damage by 22%. Okay. So I'm going to take a wild guess here and say that Shoyo is gonna chances are be the one for red right? gonna be yellow I, uh, oh yeah i guess i don't know yeah but because so also he, his passive which is oh. uh reduced bomb damage by 4250 buff balance and healer type attack and recovery by 10 percent when a special type enemy is on the field reduce bubble requirements by one hmm. pretty pretty good as a healer i think like he's not yeah for a healer yeah, this is another case of, like, if I had him, I would probably... It, it The game is so big that there's so many applications to be using, like, a specific character for. 
that um, he's probably extremely, he'll probably absolutely like help one stage that will just make him, like having him will make it so incredibly easy that it's basically not even worth trying when you have him. But the problem is, is that we don't, we both don't really know off the back of our hands which one of those would be. So it's a little bit hard to kind of judge these characters when that's not in a PvP environment. But uh, yeah, probably pretty good. You actually have him, so maybe down the road, if you ever find a, a need for him where he became where he was super clutch, you can let us know. But, yeah, yeah, I'm sure he'll probably be pretty good at. PvE stuff. Um, yeah. In Unity Battle, which seems to be what... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know why I jumped so hard that he was going to suck before that. It's, uh... He's good in in um, PvE, for sure, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, is that when... Because well, the main mode you care most about in Japuti is uh, PvP. So you always look, I think, at units specifically starting off in a, like, PvP environment, but then... Uh, obviously there's more to the game. If it was only PvP, I don't think it would probably last as long as it did, but because it has so many different modes with so many different characters that so many people are able to kind of get into it, I think that's why Jampudi is able to kind of keep on going, which is something that Orc Collection could never do, unfortunately, because Orc Collection was only yeah. good in PvP and was bad at everything else. I, I don't think Orc Collection's PvE was bad, I but I think it was bad for too long. Like, it yeah. started off really shit, and then yeah. it got really good, but by the time it got good, the damage was done. Like, you couldn't yeah. you couldn't save it, right? Also, that that Krolo fight that, t that was, like, even with the best team, it could still take up to an hour. And I grinded that Krolo fight because Krolo was good. And I did it the old-fashioned way because I didn't know how to use mods, <laughs> so it was a real pain in the ass. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah, this is the part where I dropped the bomb <laughs> where I said I also didn't mod, so a lot of that shit was a nightmare to complete. But yes, I think yeah. you're right. Is that for the most part it uh, was like too it late. did get good eventually, but it was just too little, too late. Like you, yeah. it's harder to win people back than it is to keep them right away, yes. right? Yeah, and like Jacuti's once was once the faith is broken, it you're done. Yeah. And Japuti has never broken the faith so far. They've kind of kept a good balance between all the things that they do, at least so far. You don't make it four years without doing at least that bare minimum, I feel. But there you go. And unfortunately, we don't know anything about Shigeki no Sama. Maybe someday when you're brave, and that is when we're, when we're both feeling brave enough, because the, here's the one thing I've always heard about Shigeki no Sama, is that that last season is terrible. Like actively terrible. Well, I've heard that it's like difficult to sit through because it's like cool cooking stuff, and then like the food comes, and then the the they the like comes come. out, and the girls eat it, and they come. Yeah. Yes. Like the food is brought out, and girls bite it, and then like their clothes explode, and then they come when they eat the food. It's like very yeah. strange. That sounds great for me, who's into fan service stuff. You can handle <laughs> that for some for someone like you. That's kind of like you would. Yeah. Let me give you a preview that's of what my, that would be. Of you going, that's I hated my this antithesis. Episode. <laughs> I hated yeah. this episode. There was a bunch of fan service, and it goes to be, I love this episode. So much good fan service going around. And then we would do that for about 200 episodes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, I've always wanted it, always seemed like something I would kind of get into, but hearing what eventually happens is. One of those things where it's like, yeah, probably for the people who don't like fan service, that's always going to be a roadblock. But then for the people who did, apparently that last season was not good. Actively bad. Like, I have a friend who she tries her hardest to stop people from l watching the final season of the show. She she was a big fan of it. And she goes like, have you seen up to that point? He's like, yeah, should I see the final season? Please don't. You're, you're good. You can stop. Just be happy now. <laughs> Remember from where you are. <laughs> Remember when it was good. Yes, just don't. Your life will be better if you don't have it. And I was like, <laughs> don't push I, it. Don't yeah, and fucking I told her, push it. I told her, is it that bad? And she's like, yes. <laughs> she looked me directly in the eyes and said, yes. <laughs> yeah. Please. And I was like, should I watch it? She's like, are you listening to me? <laughs> because it sounds like you're not listening to me. It's like, all right, fine. We'll go. We'll go back to work now. But anyway, that's that boy. Hopefully, if you're a fan of that boy, he is good enough for you, and you're able to get him. Next, we may as well go over the free character, because he is the only one free from here. We got Mr. No... Uh, what are these masks called? Because I always confuse them with something else. 
the what the, the demon slayer guy yeah the mask that he wears specifically the one with the big nose the tengu mask. uh tengu tengu mask yeah there you go there's a fighting game character that uses a tengu mask and i was mr karate i think so I was for yeah, the longest Mr. Karate wears one. Yeah, for the longest time I called it the Mr. Karate mask. And it was really confusing learning about Japanese history and learning that actually Mr. Karate did not invent the Tengu mask. Not the originator of the Tengu mask. <laughs> no, it, it had barely been a very long standing thing and he did not just magically use it and everyone used it. But yeah, Uradaki, he's in there, he's free, feel free to get him up. I like Uradaki from what I remember of Demon Slayer. He seemed like a nice old man who uh, very stupidly sent a lot of people to die because he didn't realize something was wrong. Uh, there was a lot of weird stuff going around with that specific demon and thing. But he, I always felt like he was uh, a nice old man who just wore the Tango mask and was cool. And yeah, that's basically it for him. How do you feel about him? Do you have any strong feelings about Mr. Tango over here? I don't. He's just, a... He's just an old man. He He's is a... what he is. Yeah. Just kind of watching, putting kids up against the boulder. That's my favorite part about him is that he said, you want to learn water? Here's a boulder. Have good fun with it. And then he left them alone for months. <laughs> and he stopped training them at that point. He said, my Pretty work much, here yeah. is done. <laughs> and he fucks off for the remainder of it. Really good. Like him a whole bunch. But as I've said in multiple times at this, any time I can bring it up, the boulder is my favorite character from Demon Slayer. Because it is the... The, greatest the boulder that ever. is cut in half? The boulder that is cut in half, because it is maybe the simplest act of a character going, I can't believe I cut that boulder in half. Now I can slay demons. Like, the one-to-one -one of, if you can beat the boulder, then you can beat a demon, really puts into place how easy it is to kill a demon in that world, even though demons are extremely powerful. <laughs> like, think about yeah, it. Yeah, which is strange. Yes, everything about it. But think about it this way. Muzan, if you can beat that boulder, anyone can beat Muzan. That is the logic. You of know, Demon that's a good point. Yes. So as long as you can beat that boulder, you can beat a demon. And the demon might a uh, wombo combo you like 500 hits, but it will never matter because as long as you could kill the boulder, you can kill the demon. And that's all the, the balance that there is in this world is as long as you can do this one thing, you can do this impossible thing because both things seem impossible, but it is possible, actually. So Demon Slayer logic. There you go. I could go on forever about the boulder. I may as well do one of those anime videos, 40 minutes long, uh, deep dive into what the boulder represents for Demon Slayer, and really go, in, go into it to such a degree that people will be unsure if I'm fucking with them or not. Uh, hey, you know, I would I would watch that. Would you? Watch my 40-minute uh, expose on the boulder. I'm going to do it then. I'm going to write that script. Just wait out for it eventually. Uh, next, let's actually get into the last dudes here, because we have the Gintama dudes, and we'll start with the dude who is probably, hopefully, on the website that you're still on, Zen. Shoya Yoshida. Oh, yeah, Yoshida, I hope so. Uh, oh, fuck. Not him, not him, not him, not him. Shoya Yoshida, he ain't on this, oh, here he is. He is on this website. Okay. Do you want me to say what he does, even though he's free? Oh, is he free? I thought he was Banner. Nah, free boy, baby. Okay. You grind. He's one of the ones you get with the keys, like Urukadaki is. Oh, okay, then. No, never mind. You don't have to say what he does, then. It's fine. He's free. We unfortunately both don't know much about him. We just we both just started Gintama, so we will um, have feelings about him later on, I guess, is the right way of saying it. So let's go into the actual limited now. The final unit we'll talk about, Shinsuke Takasuji and Shiryasha. Go ahead, tell us what they do, Zed. Ultimate attack is inflict 510% damage to one enemy, and if they have a barrier, do an additional 140%. For two turns, boost the attack of green team members by 20%. For one turn, boost the attack of all team members by 10%, 19% uh, in the tower for two turns. For five turns, guard 20% of all counterattack damage received. Buddy skill is convert one random bubble to a skill. Convert a total of seven red, blue, and block to green. And for mm. one turn, guard 29% of all damage received for green. Hmm. Passive is reduce bomb damage by 5,600. Reduce the number of bubbles required to create a skill by one. Boost ultimate attack by 10% or 20 in the tower. 
Reduce the number of bubbles required to create a skill for DPS class members by one. Mm, oh, so that passive skill would be more... I forget how passives work. If they're not on the field, does that still apply to everyone on the team? For PvP, no. No, for PvE it does. No. For PvE it does, yeah, because they're always okay. in the field. Because I was about to yeah. say, that'd be kind of a nice support ability to have. All your DPS dudes just take one less, even though most people at this point are pretty easy to make uh, skill bubbles. It's still kind of nice to have. Um... They sound really good. I like that buddy skill a whole bunch because it just makes a lot of green. And yeah, it sucks that it's probably only defense, but I think in some cases, at least you know defense can't be taken away, right? Um, attack buffs can always be taken away because there's plenty of teams that are focused on 100% on taking away your attacks. But defense stuff usually is safe from a lot of stuff because nobody uses those units or uses buddies that remove defense they only use they only use stuff that makes your defense weaker like weakening and stuff like that so they sound yeah. pretty nice to me what do you feel what i do you think feel they're good it? yeah i think they're really good maybe not so much for pvp um but i feel like for pve i think they're crazy good oh yeah for pve they would be really good I yeah I, I feel be. like i feel like i you know what i have not looked at their tier list ranking yet i'm gonna look and see what it is i bet you they're like top five green probably all right Let's check and see. PVE tier list. They have them ranked as the second best green unit in the game. Damn. Who's the number one, by the way? Uh, probably. Oh, yeah. It's Asta and Yuno. That would make a lot of sense. The, the duo. Yes. And then for the record, this looks like Joseph and Caesar are the second best blue in the game. Hmm. So both extremely strong. Two du two duos at second place and best in their in their class. That makes a lot of sense to me. I think they look really cool. I like the uh, Kentoki's outfit, specifically of when he's in this past form here here. The one where he's actually in his samurai garb. Um and I've always been kinda specifically I guess where we're starting at now, I actually am taking a lot of interest about what the hell happened to him back then. So I kind of want to at least have a unit like this because it's. I think it's actually kind of a shame that all, all the Gintoki units in this game are bad. I think, or I remember. No, the red, the yellow one's good. The yellow, the yellow one's, one's good. good. I'm thinking of the blue one. The one in this specific outfit is bad because that's the one I have. Yes, the the limited in this outfit, but by himself is garbage. Yeah, that's um, the one I have. But the yellow, the yellow Gintoki is good. Yes. Okay. That's all right. Thank you for the correction on that one. That one, I was always a real shame because he's in my box and he's just, just chilling there. I'm like, oh, damn, that's a really nice outfit. And I can't believe this version of you is so bad. <laughs> if he was just a little bit better, I would gladly use him. So even though I'm completely spent on everything, I still kind of want to go for them. I know it's probably in not a good idea with all the things coming up, but there's still something in me that really wants them. What about you? Are you you're gonna be definitely trying, but probably not actually going to pity because that would be insane. Uh, How are you feeling? Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm gonna pity them. I'll try. I'll see what happens. May as well try. Yeah, maybe at least the first multi would be worth something. The shame is is that these tickets they come with, if I don't do more Actually, now that I'm kinda curious, um, did they finally take down that banner for uh, for Sabo and... Um... I think so. I think it's still there. Is In it the still trade-in there? shop? Yeah, are they still there then? The one for Uzo I think so. Let me, let me look. Because now I'm really I imagine they'll because... just leave them up forever, because why not? Yeah. Because it would suck if you if you if they took it down and you couldn't get them. Yes, but does that mean if their banner ever came nope, back... Nope, they're in there. So that means if their banner comes back... And you still have those tickets. It'll probably be the it'll probably be the same way. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just kind of slowly build up to them that way. Yep. Huh. They're they are definitely still in there. There's not like an expiration date or anything on them. Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder if they've fought it out so far as to say like, hey, how are we actually going to return these units? <laughs> because we did kind of make them back with a very specific like plan involved, and it would be kind of fucked up if we return if we returned them without the tickets. I think. Because what if people still had them and stuff like that? But maybe that's a problem for future Shimpudi to work about, worry about, and not current one. Hmm. But yeah, I'm going to try for them because they seem good. 
even though they're good, I'm interested in the unit itself, and it helps a lot that we've been going through it. So, yeah. Hopefully, w at least one of us gets some. <laughs> Similar to Lisa Lisa, I hope at least one of us gets some. <laughs> it would be nice. It is nice. It's tough out here when you're not uh, crazy. The, uh, the, uh, a Japanese whale. They can just get everything. Day one. We don't live that life. We don't live that life at all, right, Zen? Yeah, yeah. Uh, those, those. It things, is those, what it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> not I prefer, ride or die. Yeah, I'm not that. <laughs> I I was ride or die once, and then they killed the game that I was ride or die for, so I can't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that. If I was yeah. ride or die for anything, it would probably be closer to uh, Final Fantasy Opera Omnia than Jump Pudi. Oh, Jump Chi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. And they're really treating you well with all the recent news coming out, huh? <laughs> that, that's yeah, really... bro. Ride or die, just give it five more years and the rate squares just making bad decisions. No, I'm kidding. That MMO is too strong to actually go down in five years. They got at least another... No, that's that's 14. That's Final Fantasy 14. No, that's what I'm saying. In Final Fantasy in general. I'm going to say right now, 14 can keep that company afloat for at least another 50 years. Easily. Cards, right? Easily easily are you kidding me they may as well just call it these games that take place after the at a certain point people will go like man they make spinoffs of the mmo that aren't mmo that's really weird i'm gonna give that another 10 years before the people already start calling it that when you're old when you're an old man and have to correct people about like back in my day it wasn't just the mmo there was large <laughs> single player there was games. more to it as well yeah yeah, it wasn't just that. And then at one point they had an X2 and there was cosplay warriors. Okay, Grandpa, time to go back to bed. Never. <laughs> I refuse to go down for this. Um, but yeah, that's another episode here. Sorry if it feels a little bit scatterbrained. I've woke up really weird today. And I'm feeling the, man's, the effects. The man's sleepy. The man, I'm very sleep deprived. So forgive me if I'm not at the absolute best here. But we did go through everything. Glad we were. We will be back for the next uh, Jampudi. And we will gladly jam on with whatever we got going on here. So hopefully, if you're summoning for um, the next Limited or you're still going for Caesar, we wish you real good luck on that one. So that's the end get of the show. Get that Caesar. Right? Get that Caesar. Yeah, get that Caesar, man. You're never going to probably get another Limited Caesar. Because, well, mainly because it's so hard for them to release JoJo units. Because they have to make completely brand new units to replace them in Taiwan. Which is probably why we don't get, like, a crazy influx of JoJo characters. Because they always have to be like, ah, damn it, what are we going to give Taiwan instead? Because <laughs> we can't give it to... Actually, they could give them Joseph and Caesar, right? They're not actually... They're not actually references to bands. I don't see a reason not to give it to them. Yeah, I mean, they're they're just characters. They're not like... Yeah, they're, they're there's not a band out there called Joseph Joestar and the Caesars. Ah, damn it, they should, though. Oh, actually, Zen, cut off that idea. I'm going to cut that off from the episode. We're going to make... <laughs> I'm going to add that to the list of things to make the 40, the 40 minute boulder video with an intro from the, from the, from the Joseph and the Caesars. Perfect. All right, everyone, that's the end of the video. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Till next time, keep on jamming on. We'll see you next time. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye-bye.